Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Common English Mistakes. Don't just learn, improve. Today's mistake is one my mum, who also worked in English teaching, heard an Italian tennis player make using the verb feel. It's easy to see why this verb causes confusion and mistakes because we use it in many different ways. The structure changes depending on whether you're using an adjective or a noun after. Feel like has a specific meaning and it's especially used in spoken language. There are feel like noun phrases uh, that we can use, but then also feel preposition noun phrases. We're going to look at all of these uh, and learn some useful language along the way. Anyway, the mistake is up here. I feel like at home in this city. So just try to correct the phrase to mean feel comfortable or relaxed. And well done if you said I feel at home in this city. And generally, this is the mistake problem we're going to see a lot, whether to use like or not. So feel like other verbs such as look, seem, sound, etc. has a different structure depending on whether you're using an adjective or a noun after. Feel plus adjective. So I feel cold, tired, happy, etc. Feel like plus a noun. I felt like an idiot or an adjective noun phrase. I felt like a famous movie star. I've covered that in more detail in another video. The link will be available at the end of this one. Check it out afterwards. But then feel like also has this more specific meaning. A synonym for fancy or be in the mood for to say you want something at that time of speaking. Often we use it with food. I feel like a pizza tonight. What about you? But we can also use it with activities. I don't want to go out tonight. I just feel like staying in and watching a movie. As I covered in a recent video, it's noun or verb ing after this verb. But then we have some more specific fixed phrases with feel like. For example, I slept really well last night. I feel like a million dollars or a million bucks. Feel really good. Kind of the opposite. Um, I've got the flu and I feel like death. Feel really bad. Either because you're sick. Probably I hear this more people use after a big night of partying. And if you say I'm really into music. So I felt like a kid in a candy store at the music festival. Feel really happy, but especially because of what is around you. Similarly, if you feel like a fish out of water, maybe in a new job, you feel uncomfortable with a situation. And again, because those surroundings are new or unfamiliar to you. But as we saw with that original mistake, there are also preposition noun phrases at home and these don't use like. So feel at home, feel relaxed or comfortable, feel at ease. I felt completely at ease on holiday. Again, relaxed, uh, peaceful. Kind of the opposite. If you drink too much coffee, you feel on edge nervous and not relaxed. And then a couple where it's very natural to say a bit before the preposition noun phrase. Everyone at the nightclub was much younger than me and I felt a bit out of place, like I was in the wrong or an inappropriate place. And the last one I think is a really, really useful phrase. I feel a bit under the weather today. I'm a bit sick. I haven't got the flu but I'm not feeling 100%. I think this happens to us all, especially in winter. Um, so it's a really, really useful phrase to use. Anyway, explanation over. Hopefully that was useful for you. And now you're going to be more accurate and know a couple more bits of language. Before we do some exercises, 
If you feel like helping this channel grow, do make sure to like, subscribe, and maybe share the video with others. As ever, it would be much appreciated. So anyway, when you're ready, let's practice and improve. Just pause the video and complete these questions here with these bits of language up the top. Uh, you may have to use like where appropriate and change the form of the verb. And well done. If you said, what do you feel like having for dinner? What are you in the mood for? Where have you felt like a kid in a candy store? Very happy with what's around you. Um, which city you visited? Did you feel at home in? Very comfortable. What do you drink or eat when you feel a bit under the weather? A bit sick, not 100%. And finally, uh, when do you feel on edge? Nervous and not relaxed. So maybe now choose one of those questions, especially one where the language is new to you, and write an answer in the comments to practice it. Do make sure you do that, guys. It's good for you. You can practice the language. I can correct you. And it helps me, helps the algorithm, helps the channel. Anyway, that's basically it for today. Once again, I hope that was useful for you. I'll see you for another video next week. So until next time. See ya.